In this training, we'll examine crew mechanics for conducting a horizontal jumping event. The positions and responsibilities of the judges are based on recommendations from the IAAF publication, The Referee. We will also look at two variations commonly used in the United States when measurement is made with devices other than a tape measure. For more information, please see the IAAF publication, The Referee, or consult a USA Track and Field or IAAF certified official. Let's take a look at the positions in a traditional crew setup. The chief judge supervises the entire event and supervises the conduct of the measurements. Judge 1 checks whether the takeoff has been conducted properly and measures the jump. They must be equipped with flags in order to indicate whether the jump is valid, using a white flag, or a failure, using a red flag. When the jump has been measured, it is recommended that the judge either stands in front of the takeoff board, holding the red flag, holds a red flag over the runway, or places a plastic cone on the runway while the landing area is being smoothed and, if necessary, while the plasticine board is being replaced. Judge 2 determines the position of the nearest break in the landing area to the takeoff line, inserts a spike, and then, if tape is being used, holds the tape on the zero. Judge 3 is the primary recorder, keeping the results sheet. Judge 4 is in charge of the results scoreboard. Judge 5 is in charge of the wind gauge and must operate it from a point 20 meters from the takeoff board. Judge 6, and there may be multiples of Judge 6, are in charge of leveling the sand in the landing zone after each trial. Judge 7 is in charge of replacing the plasticine. They may have access to a table or other work area for repairing the plasticine inserts. Judge 8 is in charge of the clock, indicating to the athletes how much time they have left in order to commence a trial. Judge 9 is in charge of the athlete bench. Next, let's look at the different setup where the event is using an optic or rail system for measurement. In this venue setup, we see some changes. A beam or rail has been added alongside the landing area. In this illustration, we show the use of a laser system using an electronic measurement device and a spotting laser. Judge 1 has taken position to align the spotting laser with the mark in the landing area. An additional judge, Judge 10, has been added to read the distance measured on the laser device in conjunction with Judge 3, the primary recorder. Judge 2 has moved to the opposite side of the landing area so as not to interfere with the operation of the rail system. If an electronic performance board is used, the main performance board is removed and Judge 4 takes the place of Judge 10. We also see a practical convention that's used widely in the United States. Judge 9, in charge of the athlete bench area, is most often referred to as the flight coordinator. The flight coordinator works in coordination with the board judge, in this case the chief, to regulate the flow of athletes taking attempts. The flight coordinator will also normally have a two-sided sign to indicate if the athlete who is scheduled to be up is passing, or under some jurisdictions in the United States, is taking an attempt out of order. When electronic measurement is being used, Judge 2 will have a prism or other reflector pole to use in the landing area. In this scenario, Judge 1 has now assumed the position of using the electronic measurement device to measure the attempts. The primary recorder, Judge 3, is now positioned closer to Judge 1.